right, welcome to our new version of the NCAL 2024. We're gonna start out by entering our truck with three points of contact, two hands, one foot, all the way into the vehicle. Gonna close our door, put our seatbelt on. All right, it's a little different from the old NCAL. We're gonna start by doing a safe start. Make sure our buttons are pulled out. Make sure my truck is in neutral. Make sure I turn my key to the on position. Checking all my light indicators on the dash. Make sure they all illuminate and check my ABS light on my truck and trailer. And it just went off in three to six seconds. Now we start our truck. All right. Now we're gonna continue with our light indicators. We're gonna check our left turn signal. See that it's working. My right turn signal. You see that it's working. My headlights. They're working. My high beams, they are working. My four-way flashes, they are working. Now we're gonna do our emergency equipment. We have a fully charged ABC rated fire extinguisher. It's properly working. We have our three reflective triangles up under our passenger seat, which are red in color. They are properly stored in the box. We have our spare fuses above our head. And it should be one spare fuse for every fuse type in the truck. Then we'll go to our windshield. Our windshield is clean without any obstructions to my view. It's not cracked or chipped. We have our driver side mirror, our passenger side, sorry, my driver hood mirror, the passenger side mirror, and my passenger hood mirror. They're all adjusted to me and they're all clean and clear. Then we go to our windshield wipers. We're gonna make sure they're properly mounted secure, they're not cracked or broken. Make sure our windshield wiper blades are flush to the windshield, not cut or torn. We're gonna make sure that they work and they squirt. Then we'll come inside and we'll do our heater and defroster. We're gonna set it to the foot and windshield, turn it to the heat, turn it all the way up. We're gonna fill up top, make sure it heats up at the top. It is. Make sure it heats up at the bottom. It is. Then we're gonna switch it over to cool. Make sure it cycles over. Make sure it's cooling down up top. It is. Make sure it's cooling down at the bottom. We're gonna set it to a comfortable temperature. Now we're gonna do our city horn. We're gonna do our highway horn. Now we're gonna do our first parking brake test, which will be our tractor brake. We're gonna put our foot over the brake. We're gonna push our red button in. We're gonna test our tractor brake. We're gonna apply pressure to the brake, put it in drive and we're gonna give it a slight toe. All right, it is working. Press the brake, put it back in neutral. We're gonna pull our red button out. We're gonna push our yellow button back in. And we're gonna test our trailer brake. We're gonna put it in the drive, apply pressure. Let off the brake, little gas. And our trailer brakes are working. We're gonna put it back in neutral. We're gonna push our trailer button back in. Now both of our buttons are in. We're not gonna touch those buttons for the remainder of the test. We're gonna do our service brake check. We're gonna put it in drive. We're gonna go forward at five miles per hour and my steering wheel shouldn't turn left or right. If it does, that means that my brakes are out of alignment and they need to be adjusted. So we're gonna go forward. All right, my steering wheel didn't turn left or right so my brakes are properly aligned. Put it back in neutral. Now we're gonna do our four part air brake check. Now. If you mess up on this part, it's an automatic fail. If you do want to go back to the beginning, you have two times to do that. But make sure you have to go all the way back to the beginning if you want to restart. So now we're going to build our pressure up to 120 to 140 PSI when our air governor cuts out. How are we going to do that? We're going to rev our engine up to 1400 RPMs until our air governor cuts out between 120 and 140 PSI on our primary and secondary air pressure gauge. Part one. All right, the air governor just cut out at 125 PSI. All right, we're gonna turn our truck off. Now this starts part two. The part two is gonna be our air leak test. 
So we're gonna turn our truck back to the own position. We're gonna let our gauges sweep. We're gonna put our foot slightly on the brake for three seconds to stabilize our air pressure. And now we're gonna continue to hold our foot on the brake for an additional minute. And I shouldn't lose no more than four PSI within that minute. And we are starting now. Make sure you tell them that your air pressure was at 125 before you start that one minute. All right, the pressure still sitting at 125 and 30 seconds. Make sure you keep your foot on the brake all the way through the duration of you saying where it's sitting at after the 60 seconds. Got 15 more seconds left. Still holding my foot on the brake. Five seconds. All right, 60 seconds is up. I didn't lose no more than four PSI within those 60 seconds. My air pressure is sitting at 122 on my primary and secondary air pressure gauge. Now you release the brake. Now we're gonna do, for the third thing, we're gonna do our low air alarm warning check. We're gonna fan our brakes down and my low air alarm warning should come on before 55 PSI and above. All right, my low air alarm warning just came on at 60 PSI on my primary and secondary air pressure gauge. Now we're gonna do our fourth and last thing. We're gonna fan our brakes down and both of my buttons should pop out between 45 and 20 PSI. Both of my buttons just popped out at 25 PSI. After that, you're gonna do your outside light check. You'll take your seat belt off you would get out with three points of contact and you would check your left turn signal from front to the side, to the back of your truck, to the side of the trailer, to the back of the trailer. Then you'll come back up. You don't have to get all the way back into the truck. You'll flick it up to the right, check the right side, front, side, back of the truck, side of the trailer, back of the trailer. Then you'll come back and then you'll turn on your headlights, your high beams, your four-way flashes, and you will check your four-way flashes all the way around the truck. And you would check your clearance lights on your truck and trailer. After that, if you pass, you'll wait for further instructions.